Every 12th of August, Uganda joins the rest of the world in celebrating the International Youth Day and this year, the celebrations will be held in Soroti District with President Yowari Museven as the chief guest. However, the day comes at a time youth are grappling with a number of challenges ranging from unemployment, high cost of living, family problems and crime among others. This leaves a number of questions unanswered on whether International Youth Day is worth celebrating in Uganda. To get a clear insight into the matter, we interacted with a number of youth leaders who provided varied opinions. According to the FDC National Youth Chairperson, Francis Adepo the day has lost meaning since young people are the most marginalized despite their numerical advantage. The most people who have suffered the most are the younger people. When you come to the brutality, when you come to the impunity, when you come to the unemployment, when you come to corruption, when you come to, to, to the briberies, when you come to the neglection, when you come to service delivery, education, health care services, the people who suffer most. However, Nobles in Piru and Teres Fotumushabe from Patriotic League of Uganda, PLU, and National Resistance Movement respectively disagree with the saying it is good to celebrate every achievement, however small it is. It is worth to celebrate because whatever you have, even if it is small or big, it is not that the youth in Uganda as the, are the worst in the whole world. So we have, we have a belief that we have to celebrate for the small achievements that we have in Uganda. We will first uh, celebrate our existence uh, in this world because they say life is the most important thing. So it is worth celebrating the Ugandan youth and East Africa, Africa and internationally. According to the Obos's 2024 National Census Plenary Results, youth in Uganda the youngest population in the world, with 77% of its population being under the age of 25 years. There are 7,310,386 youth from all ages of 15 to 24 years of age. However, when it comes to leadership, Young people are the most marginalized with the public offices occupied by the elderly. The youth believes this is one of the reasons behind the rampant unemployment, hence demands for old people to resign and pave way for the young generation. People have taken over, away from us. Us being the majority, there is no space to breathe. We are not breathing anywhere. They have continued to squeeze us, even offices that maybe we aspire to really take. The people who are old, who have even reached the retirement age, have continued to, to, to occupy those offices. Currently, the youth covers the biggest percentage in Uganda, and in the big positions, we have only the elderly people that are not covering at least the, uh, that, are, that are covering at least the biggest percentage in positions of the government, which is not favoring the youth. So, according to me. I'm finding it a challenge. That's why I'm encouraging all the Ugandans, the youth, to come and participate in the change of this nation and we all participate in, politi in politics we, we take up. Uganda's government, led by President Yoweri Museveni, has embarked on a number of programs such as the Mioga, Parish Development Model, and Youth Livelihood Program, among others, to improve the lives of Ugandan youth, including elevating them from poverty. However, some of these believes the programs are of benefit, and to others, no benefits have been yielded as of yet. And the local people there trying to tell you how this has also been corrupted. Someone is supposed to get, for example, in the PDM, someone is supposed to get one million. That is according to what they write. But I want you to go on ground. Someone who is supposed to get one million, they end up getting 300,000. They end up getting 400,000. But in the books, they have signed one million. We really thank uh, the government, uh, led by His Excellency Yoga Kutam Seven, for such a, an initiative that is really empowering the youth and the all Ugandans at large so that uh, they can also gain skills and put a stone or put a, a foundation uh, for themselves. To address the problem of all domination in political arena, the youth are called upon to take advantage of their numeric advantage and participate in the democratic process of their country through the rightful means. We are 77%. First of all, we can decide what is going to happen and what should not happen. Because we are 77%. 
meaning that the remaining is just 27. I'm encouraging the youth we should now put on our shoes and come in such position so that we can change what we need and we are the very people who know what is pressing the youth. Danny Simba, the national youth leader from the Uganda People's Congress, believes that if the question of the young people is not addressed, it will provoke them to rise up against the government, as witnessed in the previous March to Parliament demonstrations. If the world continues to neglect the youth question, it will provoke and force them to come up and assert their voice, as we are witnessing. Our immediate neighbor, Kenya, has and continued to express the Jeans uh, demonstrations, which forced President William Ruto to withdraw the finance bill 2024. John Baptista Humza, Church of Uganda, Family TV News at 8.